Hi, my name is Carl Hopwood, and as a head teacher, I know from my day-to-day -day work in school that e-safety is important, not only to every staff member, but all adults who have a duty of care for children. You are entering the teaching profession at a very interesting and exciting time with regard to technological developments. ICT can influence what we teach, the way we teach, and, importantly, the opportunities for pupils to learn and socialise through the internet and mobile technologies. Their potential is huge. Research shows that young people are spending more time online than watching television. Internet-based advertising, social networking, gaming, online shopping and the plethora of information sources are all having an important influence upon young people and their opportunities to enjoy and achieve. However, in using the internet, children expose themselves to a range of risks. The Every Child Matters agenda underpins decisions we make professionally. One of the five aspects of Every Child Matters is how learners adopt safe practices. As a trainee teacher, you need to ensure that your contribution to the welfare of your pupils means that you understand the issues that they are likely to confront when using the internet or mobile phone, either at home or at school, so that they are more likely to be safe wherever they use it. Rules, guidance and setting a good example are all important, but, in addition, you need to know where you can go to access good, up-to-date e-safety materials to use in school. To meet the standards to become a teacher requires you to demonstrate the positive values, attitudes and behaviour that you expect from children and young people. You need to be aware of the opportunities which new technologies bring, but there is a clear message that you must also be aware of the challenges and risks and be prepared to support and direct your pupils to ensure their well-being and safety. One of the worst risks to young people of using the internet is that without the correct guidance they can put their physical safety as well as their psychological well-being at risk. E-safety education is therefore a really important issue, but one which is challenging for schools. Whilst the majority of schools will have good filtering and monitoring systems in place within the school itself, most of children's risk-taking activities happen outside the school. E-safety is certainly relevant to the citizenship, PSHE and ICT curriculum, but as all teachers use ICT to support teaching and learning, we would maintain that it is relevant to all teachers. Communicating online can make children feel invincible. They lose their inhibitions and can often engage in activities that they wouldn't dream of doing in the offline world. This website offers an overview of the key e-safety areas to be aware of, as well as links to valuable resources, and will really help you consider the impact of these issues on your own professional development. As you become a teacher, you will be in a very privileged position to make a real difference in the lives of the children that you work with. Their lives are increasingly in the online world, and as such, we must engage with it. This website will give you a good introduction to the e-safety issues and will help you as you guide your pupils to know it all.